Truthfully, my neighbor over here put out two coolers in the garbage, and I'm like, that'd work. In the last four months, I've adopted out 30 cats and kittens. Are you my good girl? I'm Mike. I'm Gail. We're longtime animal lovers and rescuers. And we make cool cat coolers. <laughs> We create cat shelters out of coolers to help community cats. The cooler makes a good shelter because <clears throat> it's well insulated. Usually people use it to keep things cold, and so they provide a good layer of insulation for the cat. You drill a hole big enough for the cat, but not big enough for a predator to go in where the cat would feel safe. You fill it with straw for bedding and provide extra insulation that the cat can burrow into when it's really cold. Yeah. And use straw only, never hay or any blankets. Or never like blankets that. because it takes in moisture and it'll freeze. We've decided a step up is to put a little like awning on it yeah. to prevent rain from going in the opening and getting the inside of the cooler wet. Anybody could do this. I mean, yeah, we're just that's average important. people that right. love animals, love cats, and anybody in their community right. could do this. Right. The coolers are cute, but uh, rescuing and stopping the suffering is a big deal to all of us. So we'll get a call in the community and they'll say, you know, this is the fourth litter this female cat has had on my property. I don't know what to do. All the shelters are full. The first step is trapping the cat. These are cats that we trapped this morning. This is the beginning of the process. These are live humane traps. They will now uh, get vet appointments, be spay neutered, now we've stopped the unwanted kittens. They're ear tipped because ear tipping shows the community, I've already been spay neutered, don't open me up again. And they will either be released back to their original homes to keep fed or uh, we will tame them and hopefully the kittens could get adopted. So the process is kind of a long one, and the release is a very sad one. You know, I released three yesterday, and I cried all the way home. Are you my baby? Yeah, don't cry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I tend to cry when yeah. I get my kids adopted, so it's a very emotional time for me, and yeah. I get teased about you know crying, but uh, <laughs> there's nothing like yeah. <laughs> socializing and playing with little right. kittens. Yeah, it's, it's one of the perks of the job. In the last four months. I've adopted out of my little cattery production here um, 30 cats and kittens, and maybe another 50 that got spay neutered this year by me. We're self funded. When Michael rescues, the vet bills are on him. When they come to my house, the vet bills are on me. The three kitties I showed you today that we trapped. I'll be paying for all of them. We just decided that we just need to do this. We took some money out of our retirement fund to pay for uh, the vaccinations and some of the equipment that we would yeah. need to care for these kittens. And I mean, somebody's got to do it. And right. so somebody is me and somebody is yeah. Gail. Yeah, you're either in or you're not in. I just encourage people to you know, start something like this in your community because it's easy. You know, what most of the time we say is we're just regular people. Anybody could yeah. do this if they right. just care enough.